When Lord Voldemort rebuilt his physical body in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, he used Harry's blood. That ingredient would go on to aid in the Dark Lord's downfall. At first, it seems that the love protection was cancelled out when Voldemort used Harry's blood. Since Voldemort was able to touch Harry without experiencing pain, but that wasn't the case. The protection first created by Lily actually lived on through Voldemort when he received a new body. As Dumbledore explained, his body keeps her sacrifice alive and while that enchantment survives, so do you. When Voldemort hit Harry with the killing curse in the forest, it destroyed the horcrux that resided in Harry, but left Harry himself alive. Since Voldemort was still alive, Lily's love spell was still in effect. Harry was sent to Limbo where he encountered Dumbledore. He was given a choice to die and finally rest or return home, and he chose the latter. Nagini remained as Voldemort's last horcrux until Neville destroyed her with the Gryffindor sword. With no horcruxes remaining as Voldemort's primary defenses, this left the Dark Lord vulnerable. Harry returned from Limbo and faced off against Voldemort one last time, just as his mother did for him at Godric's Hollow. Harry sacrificed himself for his friends and loved ones by standing in front of his foe unarmed. This put a new protection spell around those at Hogwarts. Harry then revealed the truth about being the master of the Elder Wand. Since the Elder Wand would not cast a killing curse on its owner, the spell rebounded, killing Voldemort in the process. The outcome of this event would not have been possible without Lily Potter and her love for her son.